What's happening everybody? Welcome back to World of Warships with Tuffy the Great. So after a long and excruciating grind with the Tier 4 Kaiser, uh, me and that ship just did not see eye to eye. It was not the ship for me. A lot of people have had good luck in it. I've actually talked to people in the game that really enjoyed the Kaiser. Me personally, I was not a fan. Um, the guns were small, they were ineffective, the shots went everywhere when, you know, it had a large, large barrel dispersal. So I wasn't a fan of that ship, but we have up -locked, unlocked the Tier 5 Koenig, um, which is the, the next tier. It, one tier below after this we get the Bayern, which the Bayern, I can't wait to get a New Mexico on Bayern battle. Um, see what that's like. We'll actually probably do a couple of videos and see what my big beautiful New Mexico feels like compared to the tier uh, 6 German battleship Bayern. But for now, let's take a look at this lovely, lovely lady. So, you'll notice a couple of things that are different. Of course, naturally I have gone through uh, all my modules. And the only thing I do not have upgraded is I do not have... Uh, we're going to do that now. Um, so this is the FKS Type 5 modification. It will actually increase my firing range by 10%. Um, right now my main battery is only, I can only target at about uh, 14 and a half and I'll be able to upgrade that to 16 kilometers out. So we just click on that, we're gonna research it. That costs this free XP that's up here. Um, so we research it. There's that, and then we can purchase and mount it for 240,000 silver. We're going to go ahead and do that. And so that will basically give the uh, tier, four, or tier 5 Koning a longer firing arc. Doesn't, unfortunately, do anything for the shot dispersion, but we'll, we'll find out how that is later. So let's take a look at her. What does she look like on paper? Well, right off the bat, we're looking at 47,000 hit points. This thing's got a lot of armor. Um, 19 to 350 millimeters of armor, um, 350 millimeters protecting those citadels and those main battery guns. Um, and it actually has a 24% torpedo protection, which again is not wonderful, but it's not awful either. Um, especially at this tier of ship. So those main battery guns, you've got five two-barreled 305 millimeter cannons. So that's these big babies right here. So the guns are getting just a little bit bigger. Not too much, but a little bit. Um, and then for a secondary armament, you have four two-barreled 88mm um, heavy artillery cannons here. Um, Germans kind of tend to like this. This is something that's very inducive, indicative of the German battleship design, this kind of weird, weird-looking turret there. Um, and then we also have four one-barreled 150mm um, artillery cannons you can see here. These are still mounted in the side of the ship. Um, this was something that they tended to abandon later on. Um, the main battery firing range, as we said before, is that 16 kilometers, so we can reach out and touch them from just a little bit away. Um, her concealment is actually 14.6, 14 14 um, so if a ship has, say, a 18 kilometer detection range, I can actually shoot at him from 16 kilometers away before he can even see me. So that's kind of a cool little concept, right? So the AA Defense upgraded. Um, we have the Flak 38s. There's 10 of these one barrel Flak 38s here firing the Flak guns. And then you have these Flak Zwillings, the 30 caliber, uh, um, excuse me, the uh, six two barreled um, 37 millimeter Flak guns. And then of course the 88s turn into um, Flak cannons. So her maneuverability right now, fully upgraded. She's got a top speed of 24 knots, which is actually fast. If you look at the tier six New Mexico, which we all know I love my New Mexico, um, that's tier six, that's one tier higher. Her maximum speed is only 21 knots. So the Koenig can actually turn and outrun the um, New Mexico if it has to. It's got a 620 meter turning circle, so, you know, typical battleship. 13.2 um, second rudder shift time. Again, if we look at the New Mexico, you're looking um, at a 10.8. So the New Mexico's rudder does turn just a little bit faster, but you know, honestly, I think with the speed, it really doesn't stop the um, Koenig from being much more maneuverable. I mean, at tier six, you know, you're looking at a, a 640 meter turning radius on the uh, tier six New Mexico. And you know, you're looking at a smaller turning circle radius with a slower rudder shift time. So it takes the rudder just a little bit longer to get over, but she turns just a little bit tighter. It's actually pretty maneuverable, I think. So that's what it looks like on paper. Great. What does it look like in the game? Well, let's go ahead and let's take this new baby out. Let's jump into a battle and let's see how she handles, okay? 
Alright, so here we are on a domination map on the Solomon Islands. I'm gonna take the Koenig out and see what she can do, huh? I, I really like the fact that there's a turret in the center and there's not, you know, four on the sides or those weird offset turrets. Action stations. So we're gonna head over to C, see what kind of trouble... Ah, see what I did there? See what kind of trouble I can get into over there. Hopefully we don't get completely overwhelmed and our entire team doesn't turn and head the other way. Otherwise we're going to have to turn this thing around. Oh, there goes the Mayogi. Pay attention to what I'm doing here. Let's turn this thing. So there's already a destroyer in C. You can see him getting picked up over there. So we need to be careful. Enemy force detected. So it looks like there's a lone battleship headed for headed for C. There we go. Troy thinks he's being all clever there, sitting in a smoke screen. The problem is he's been spotted. So what happened there is we probably got just a ton of overpenetrations. It's more than likely what happened. So we're going to focus back on this Koenig, and we're going to let the Wataki and the Konigsberg handle those little destroyers. Oh, and the Koenig, for some reason, is turning. Which, okay. You know, as Sun Tzu once said, never interrupt your enemy when he's in the middle of making a mistake. So we're going to go ahead and let him make a mistake. We lost our Wataki. Let's get in there and help this Koenigsberg out. It looks like the Koenig is bugging out. Big hits on the Koenig there. He's going to feel that one in the morning. I wonder if the Koenigsberg is... Nope, the Koenigsberg is not DC'd. Okay, I was kind of wondering about that. But we got to be super careful because that Koenigsberg... He's getting awful close, which means he's going to be in our Kona fire here pretty soon. Konigsberg lights him on fire. Oh. Don't fire at your allies. Yep, I accidentally hit him there because he cut in front of me. That's okay. It happens. And he's down. Nice.
So I'm kind of liking the 24 knot speed on this, uh, on the Koenig here. That's, uh, it's kind of nice being able, it's pretty quick for a battleship, especially a battleship in tier 5. A lot of the other battleships are pretty slow. So to have something that's this fast, it's kind of nice. I can outrun most of the other ships. Almost there. Not quite yet for that New York. We're just about there, though. I am quite a bit faster than him. I'm about five knots faster. Oh. What was that? Did that Konigsberg buy it? Yeah, he bought it. So I got a lot of destroyer support with me. So that'll, that'll help a lot. But the New York is pretty armored up. Another shots out at him. Oh, he takes some big hits from those torpedoes. Oh, and they finish him off. There's the enemy carrier. But we have a big fat Wyoming to take care of here. And I'm not gonna lie, the coning is pretty deadly. went through the superstructure there. That's okay, though. And we sitted him. Got him in the citadel. Very nice. So those torpedoes look like, yep, they're gonna finish him off. But we know where the carrier is. And I'm running out of destroyers. got a destroyer in range. I'm gonna take care of this enemy carrier, I think. Me thinks. So I'm gonna switch back over to high explosive and there is actually a purpose behind that. I can do a lot of damage to the carrier um, with armor piercing. But one thing he cannot do if he's on fire, if I set him on fire, is he cannot launch planes against us. So we're going to see if we can set him on fire. And he's on fire. Because now he can't retrieve or uh, launch airplanes. set him on fire again but he's used his damage repair so we're just gonna let him burn a couple of big torpedo hits oh yeah and he burns down very nice let our guns reload we're gonna have to swing all the way around here because that Koenig is on the other side of that channel So I just had a player say, uh, great CV kill because I got the kill on the carrier because I burned him out. So I didn't do a lot of damage to him, but I did burn him. So we're at 913 to 184. So we're going to we're gonna not do too bad here. So this is a pretty good game in this ship. I, I am enjoying this game.
I'd say you know, I like its speed, I like its maneuverability, I, I think it's a pretty darn good ship. So I have to say, I like this guy's name that's commenting. His name is Sir Sinksalot the Third. That's actually pretty clever. Let's see if I can get a couple of more hits. So either this Koenig is sailing, or he has just completely given up. And I don't know which. So let's put some shots out on him. Yeah, we'll get a couple of hits off him there. This battle is about to end, so. Ninety-four. I probably won't get another salvo out. There it is. So we win that one. Not bad for a game in the Koenig. I do like this. It's a good ship. It's fast. It's pretty well armored. It's pretty tough. Look at that. 118,000 silver, uh, 2,600 free XP, and 130 premium XP. That's awesome. Uh, so I'm not I'm not angry at that. Got uh, one Citadel hit, 33 target hits, one ship was destroyed. We set the carrier on fire twice. So you gotta love that. So that's it for today. Um, that was the Tier 5 Koenig. Um, I really enjoyed it. Thought it was a great ship. So if you liked what you saw, give that video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know just what you thought of the video. And as always, if you like the videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give the channel a little bit of love. So as always, guys, I'll talk to you later.